wake up sleepyheads and what's up it's your boy p to the jpj here back with another med 19 short scheme for you guys today and as promised i'm gonna show you guys the shutdown lockdown never gonna get scored on ever again defense that you can use in the red zone that means 20 yards or in anywhere from the 20 yard line or in to the goal line you can use this one play that i'm about to show you right here to completely shut out and keep your opponent from scoring any touchdown they're either going to turn the ball over because they're going to be frustrated and force stupid stuff or they're going to take their three points and give you the ball right back so without further ado let's go ahead and get into this thing i'm going to show you the play the setups Talk about the weaknesses about them. There's only two of them, but they're pretty easy to stop and keep your eyes on them, you know. And you're going to get rage quits from this, guys. I'm telling you. The setup I like to use the best is out of the 3-4 odd. You can do this out of a lot of other formations, but I feel like it works the best and it's kind of pretty easy to set up in the 3-4 odd, all right? Um, it doesn't really matter about the personnel. You just want your linebackers to have as good zone coverage as you can get, you know, the more the better and the safeties you want them to be as tall as you can get you know cam chancellor stuff like that in mutt would be perfect um you just want them to have a lot of play rec jump stuff like that and what we're going to do is we're going to scroll through and we're going to find uh cover four drop show two this is the play that we're going to use um you know I, I know a lot of people use that play all the time anyways but you know this setup is perfect for the red zone all right so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna pick uh, some run play uh, pass I mean it really doesn't matter honestly let's just pick random play because this play locks up anything all right so all you're gonna do is you're gonna baseline which is pushing Y then right on the left thumbstick to baseline them then you you can press if you want um, right here I'm not going to I'm gonna show you it'll still work but um, you can when you're in the 10 yard line and in I would say press them it, it works a little bit better but what you're gonna do is put your corners into soft squat so to do it quick you're gonna double tap Y and then you're gonna push the buttons over your corner so first we'll do X and then we're gonna push right on the left thumbstick to get a short uh, soft squat and then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side so double tap Y push B and push right on the left thumbstick you'll get two soft squats on each side as you can see right now it doesn't matter how you shade your defense inside outside anything like that do whatever you feel most comfortable with um, I will tell you one of the only weaknesses on the defense is this back corner of the end zone where you see my uh, user at right now. Um, sometimes they can get open because soft squats tend to drift up towards the flats after a certain amount of time. And if there's a receiver back there then he and he stays there, it, it could get open. So just keep your eye out for that if you're roaming around with your user to keep the quarterback from being able to see that. Now what we're going to do the next part of the setup is you're going to blitz whatever middle linebacker you're using. It doesn't matter which one, just pick whichever one you typically use. I'm just going to blitz Erlacher for the example in this video. The reason we're blitzing him is because we're going to put one of these defensive ends on a spy. It doesn't matter which one. Um, for this one, I'm just going to I'm just going to put this uh, left end on a spy, but typically I like to spy the defensive end that's on the opposite side of the running back. So if they're doing like an inside zone or something, um, it goes right to that guy but for this play it doesn't really matter because the running back is right behind him but to quickly get the QB spy up you're gonna double tap LB or L1 then you're gonna press the button of whichever DN you want to spy then press right on the right thumbstick and he's going to help you from giving up a lot of yards and touchdowns on regular running plays especially QB draws a reason why I like this uh, elite, a reason why I like the spy is as soon as they snap the ball and they run it if you notice it's a run play you're going to click or push down on that right thumbstick you'll hear a click and that's going to send your spy immediately he's going to get a really glitchy block shed and just fly through and stop your running back or at least mess him up and the rest of your defense will switch to uh, when you click that right thumbstick it tells everybody that to run or run commit or come up to the quarterback so that helps stop the run now, whichever linebacker you blitz, you're going to use him as regular, like he's in a hook curl or a yellow zone anyways. You can just go wherever you want, just cover wherever you see a hole possibly coming. And that QB spy is going to keep you from giving up QB draws or a QB scramble for those cheesy touchdowns where nobody can cover it, all right? So let's just snap the ball and show you uh, how this play looks like. Right here, it's a run. You see, it was kind of hard for me to stop it with two controllers, but I did try to click on as fast as I can, and he only got like a yard or two, so it wasn't that bad on that run play. We're going to set up quicker this time. Baseline, 
right here. Uh, you're gonna put the corners both in soft squats. For uh, inside the 10 yard line, I'm gonna show you this time that you can press. So you can go ahead and press them. Push Y and down on the left thumb stick and that'll bring them up to press. Blitz your user middle linebacker. Put whatever D lineman you want on the spot. This time I'm gonna put the right end on a uh, spy. Whichever one you're using, again, you wanna blitz him and that's gonna help keep your defense from getting pancaked if it is a run. That's another reason why I put the middle linebacker on a blitz, okay? You see on this next play pass, there's literally nowhere to throw. You know, watch your corners, the back corners, that's the only weak spot of this defense. A lot of people are going to try and cheese their way to a touchdown by throwing a bunch of high passes. It doesn't matter. This defense does do a really good job. As best as anything can do, it will stop it. Because the safeties are in cover four quarters, they stay in the middle and play it perfectly. As they play the high points really fast. Uh, high points are broken, so I have been scored on with high points before, but I mean, this is the best way I've seen to lock it up. Another tip to help you improve on your high point defense, before you pick the play, go to your coach adjustments and switch it to play ball. And that's the only one you that has worked for me. And a lot of times they'll get a glitchy animation where they'll jump in front and pick it off or knock it down. On this draw play, the only other weakness I was talking about is draw plays, running back draw plays. That was a bad user by me. It, you can stop it. But the only two weak spots again are the back corners of the end zone and running back draw plays. You can stop it, like I said, but you have to be very quick to pick up that it's a draw play and click down on your right thumbstick and then have good users yourself to get to the running back. But on pass plays like this, any pass plays, there's nowhere to go. I don't care what play they pick who they throw it to, who they have, there's nowhere to go. Eventually you're going to get a covered sack or you can send your spy eventually too. Especially if your opponent starts scrambling to one side and gets out of the pocket, send your spy, force him to throw a bad pass or throw it away. Again, the quick setup, baseline, press, put both your corners into soft squats, blitz your user middle linebacker, and then you're going to uh, put a spy on one of your DNs. Snap the ball, it's a run, we're gonna stop that. There's nowhere to go, guys. I'm telling you, this run is so good. Only rushing three, and they still still stopped it. Cover four is a really good run defense as is, so that helps as well. But against the draw, running back draw, it does have a problem, right? You see on this next play, there's nowhere to go, guys. And this is every time, all the time, especially on pass plays. All the stupid bounce back routes that the computer does because this is how Madden is in passing game. You can trust that you're eventually gonna get a sack or send your spy and put some pressure on them and get a pick or a turnover or something like that. What you don't wanna do is send your spy too early or quick. Do not be in a rush to send your spy, guys. I'm telling you, you can trust that the backside of your defense is gonna stay in coverage and help you to not, and they're not gonna dumb out and give up some stupid easy pass or something like that. If your opponent's not gonna throw the ball, you can literally just sit there the whole play, the whole quarter, however long, however long it takes for him to make a decision. Just play the receivers that are out there. There's nowhere to throw. The only way you can get scored on is on a draw play or if you have bad users on the run plays that you see. Or they get lucky and uh, get a high point on you. So we want a baseline press, put your corners in soft squats, blitz your, blitz your middle linebacker and put a D end in a spy. Snap the ball. He's rolling out to the left. There is some a receiver in the flat, but that's nothing. You, everybody's gonna come up and stop him. Just run around with your user. Make sure that if you see somebody get open, start running to him. Keep keep it from looking super open. Keep your eyes on that back of the corner of the end zone though, and just wait for the coverage to get the coverage sack to get there, or for him to do something stupid. I'll do it one more time just to be consistent. Show you guys that it does work consistently. Baseline. We're closer, we want to press, put your corners in soft squats, blitz the middle linebacker that you're using, put an end on a spy, here's a run, we stop it. As soon as you guys see the run, click down on that right thumbstick, you'll see it, okay? We'll set it up really quick again, make sure it doesn't matter which you put on the DN, as soon as it's another draw play, you see if you're a good user like that, you can make a good decision to read and stop it, but that is a weak spot of this defense. I just want to keep saying that so you guys know that this isn't an end-all, be-all stop. 
you see how the blocking on this uh, this next drop draw play was pretty tough. You can still stop it. I had a bad user right there, but he didn't score, and um, that's the only way that people have really tried to consistently score on me is with the run. But in a pass play like this one, there is nowhere to go. If they pass it, they're gonna throw a pick, or they're gonna sit there forever trying to find something. They'll eventually throw it away, or they're taking a sack. I know there was some instances on that play and some others where it looks like it might be open. I'm telling you, you can jump it easy. And, and it also helps because you can bait your opponent into making him think that there's something open and you pick it off. I mean, my defense is really aggressive anyways. A lot of times my opponent will get tons of yards down the field, but when they get in the, inside the 20, I whip this out and I know they're not getting anything more than three points. I hope you guys really enjoyed this play. Let me know if it works for you, and if you have any trouble with it or have any questions, leave them down below in the comments, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I hope it helps you guys win more games in your weekend league and head-to-head -head games. Until the next time, keep grinding, stay shining, peace.